It's not every day that you see a beautiful woman fighting no holds barred. She is one tough girl. Gina came in straight direct to me and look at my look at my eyes and say I want to be a fighter. So I look at her. You want to be a fighter? Are you kidding me? I walked in to the gym to watch Kevin Ross. So I was like, okay, if you support a girlfriend, go watch him train. When Gina came in, she's a little bit overweight. She came up and he was like, ooh, baby, you fat. <laughs> and I was like, a little Thai man just called me fat and I need to do something about that. Start working, the more she training, the more I see in her eyes that she a next world champion in no time. Then four months later I was fighting. I know that pretty much she could hold her own, but I just didn't know how much. It's like the first fight, I was like praying like, oh, that she wouldn't get hurt. But about 30 seconds into her first fight, I thought, oh my goodness. Um, I started praying for the other girl that she wouldn't get hurt. Just getting in there in front of all the people and facing a fear and feeling the adrenaline rush from it. It's like my addiction. <laughs> You're gonna have an addiction, it might be. Might as well be punching people in the face for a living. <laughs> middle child syndrome. That's what we call it, middle child syndrome. <laughs> All three girls were like little boys. They were so physical. Like, you know how people are like, oh, who would you make out with? You know, if you, know, you could make out with anybody. Well, we sit around and talk about who, you know, who would you kick in the head? So when they used to fight, I would, and I'd get tired of it, I'd just take them both outside and um, take them out in the front yard or the backyard and close the door and say, have at it. Just beat each other up. If that's what you want to do, just beat each other up. To like, she fought guys in high school. Like, she's, she's like, she's tough. I think uh, I'm gonna be pretty dangerous. <laughs> I fight guys in the gym, so I know what it's like to get hit hard. I don't back down. Uh, we train together a lot, you know, every day. We dated for a while, well, three years. Sparring with a girlfriend is a lot of fun. You know, sometimes it's nice to be able to punch your girlfriend. <laughs> my dad, my dad is so funny. He's like, hey, you know, I want to go a couple rounds with you, Gina. I want to see what you got. I'm like, no. I think women should be able to fight mixed martial arts, just like men should be able to fight mixed martial arts. There's no doubt that there are quality competitors out there. And if you know what you're doing and you, you know not enough where you're not going to get hurt, it goes for men or women, doesn't matter. You deserve to fight. I think there will always be female fighters, and they will continue to evolve just like the men. I think people look at her and don't think she's a fighter because of her perfect face and that kind of goes to her advantage because then they think she's not as good and then she just kicks their butts. I've been like seriously laughed at <laughs> to the point where they just look at me up and down like Psh, and like laughing at you in front of crowds and I just like stood there and that is probably the worst idea to do with me I realized because <laughs> I've never punched somebody so hard in, their, in my life. In the end though she's got to win and she's got to look good. If she doesn't win her fights it doesn't matter how good she looks. And if she doesn't win her fight, she's probably not going to look good for that long. I got an elbow, took an elbow to the cheek right here, and my whole eye just like, like exploded up. And I was just like, damn, this is not sexy. It's hard. It's hard watching anybody, you know, fight. I do worry a lot. It's like my daughter. It's like my baby. Sometimes I can't even look at her. I go meditation. Oh, he's very protective. Like, like joining his gym is like joining a family. One thing that Gina does bring to the table is a 12 and 1 Muay Thai record, which, man or woman, is a pretty impressive feat. If you see her fight, you're gonna love it. She have it all. She can knock people out with the right hand. She can knock people out with the left hand. She can kick. She can knee. She can elbow. You name it. Gina can do it all. If I am mentally focused, physically focused, and um spiritually focused, nobody can beat me. Her opponent is in for a very wild and painful evening. Gosh, it's gonna be insane.